Hey, what up everybody? Uh, this is Stevie Breach coming to you here with a DVD look at the uh, Triumph and Tragedy World Class Championship Wrestling, uh, which was of course based out of Dallas, Texas. And one of the big things that I'm planning on doing with my uh, WrestleMania 32 trip is that uh, I believe on Saturday morning, waking up early and heading on out and checking out the, uh, the former site of the Sportatorium. Um, I know the Sportatorium is not standing anymore, um, but it, I, I still want to see the memories of, uh, you know, everything that went down there. And uh, um, it, it's just sort of a, I don't know whether it, it's like a landmark for professional wrestling. It's just like, I don't know, man. Like if I ever went to Detroit, I'd want to see where the Pontiac Silverdome stood or, or something like that. Um, you know, I want to see where the, the life and, and, and blood and everything was spewed at the Von Erichs versus the Freebird feud. Um you know, where Stone Cold Steve Austin uh, trained or to become a professional wrestler. And um, that's that's probably the one thing right off the bat of this triumph and tragedy of world-class championship wrestling. Um, why Stone Cold Steve Austin wasn't interviewed or, or you know, any classic footage uh, put in there. Um, definitely, you know, they had Shawn Michaels on there and some other guys. But uh, I don't know. I, I, I would have put Stone Cold Steve Austin definitely one of the biggest stars. Um, I honestly... Don't think he ever wrestled for World Class Championship Wrestling, but he did wrestle for the USWA. He was trained by uh, by Chris Adams, and um, I would have had him in there just to say something about the Sportatorium if, if I could have. But uh, that's gonna be a fun part of the trip. But uh, here we are, um, the the Freebirds uh, versus the Von Erichs right there at the uh, the headline of this DVD. Um, you've got um, you know Buddy Roberts. Uh, you've got. Uh, uh, Terry Gordy, you got uh, Michael P.S. Hayes, I call him Doc Hendricks still, and of course there you have uh, David, Kevin, and Kerry, um, the three, you know, big stars of the Von Erichs, uh, I don't know, um, maybe Mike isn't, you know, the, the most famous of them, maybe Mike didn't really want to, uh, to wrestle, um, and, and Fritz sort of forced him in there, but uh, I don't know if it would have been, you know, that odd to have, you know, all four of the uh, the famous Von, Von Erich brothers on the cover there for you, but we're going to take a look at this, The Triumph and Tragedy of World Class Championship Wrestling. It's the two-disc set. Um, I want to think this came out like in 2005, uh, maybe 2006, somewhere around that time, uh, after um, Kevin Von Erich, um, the last surviving member of the Von Erich family, uh, sold uh, the video footage um, from World Class Championship Wrestling to Vince McMahon. Um, of course, then he would be a part of uh, their Raw Homecoming, getting one of the biggest pops I've ever seen. And... Um, you know, basically wanting me to find out why the Von Erichs are, are so popular. Um, this has got a, a good long documentary. I'm sure I'll review that um, within the next couple of days. Uh, but then here we are uh, starting. Uh, these are the, the bonus features, probably some interviews and, and things like that uh, to show off their uh, you know, television that they used to run back in the day. Um, the matches. We'll start right over here. Two out of three falls. Um, we've got Duke. I don't even know who that is. Going up against Ricky Starr. American Heavyweight Championship. Fritz Von Erich Retirement Show. Um, we've got uh, Fritz Von Erich going up against King Kong Bundy in 1982. Um, that would be before WrestleMania 2. So that, that's a big deal. Um, steel Cage Match for the World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, this would be from the uh, Star Wars of Wrestling Show. Rick Von er uh, I'm sorry, Rick Flair going up against Kerry Von Erich. A very famous wrestling match which would start the Von Erich uh, versus Freebird feud, um, basically with Michael P.S. Hayes being in the ring as a special, he wasn't really the referee because there was another referee in there. there was, he was like the special enforcer inside of a steel cage match. Maybe he's there to make sure they're kicking enough ass. I'm not sure, but um, basically, um, he it, basically uh, Hayes was trying to give Von Erich the win, um, and uh, Von Erich didn't want to win that way. Um, so basically, he got pissed, and uh, as he was just saying, forget it, I'm, I'm walking out of this match, I'm not going to be the enforcer no more. Um, Kerry went over to punch him, uh, and then Flair came and hit Kerry uh, into um, Michael Hayes. Michael Hayes went flying out of the ring, turned around, and because Kerry was there, even though he just got kicked in the back, thought Kerry did it, slammed the cage right into uh, Kerry Von Erich's head, and uh, the war was off and running from there. Um, great match. Um, 
it's it's on the WWE Network. If you haven't seen it, you go over and, and you check out the World Class Championship vaults and you, you'll find it. Uh, it's the, the the Christmas show. I think it's December 24th. It might even be December 25th um, from 1982. Um, then we have here uh, Iceman uh, going up again. Oh, Iceman with Kevin and David Von Erich going up against the Freebirds. Uh, we've got a hair versus hair match. Uh, Iceman going up against Buddy Roberts. That's a great freaking match. A great feud. Buddy Roberts, of course, loses his hair in that match. Uh, there, he would sort of go with the the sort of gimmick that Kurt Angle did when he lost his hair uh, in WWF. You know, wrestling with the, uh, the the sort of wrestling you know thing around it, and he would wear wigs and all sorts of things to try and cover up the fact that he lost that match. Uh, from there, we go to a six man title match: David Von Erich uh, Memorial. Uh, this would be uh, Fritz, Mike, David. Uh, going up against the Fabulous Freebirds. Uh, then we go over here to uh, the David Von Erich Memorial Parade of Champions in 84. Uh, Gentleman Chris Adams and Sunshine going up against Gorgeous uh, Garvin and Precious. Uh, the Great Kabuki against Kamala. Uh, then we have the Fantastics against Midnight Express. We've got Chris Adams versus Kevin Von Erich. One Man Gang and Rick Rude going up against the Bruiser Brody and the Missing Link. Um, then we got uh, the third Cotton Bowl Extravaganza, Bruiser Brody against Abdul the Butcher. Oh, wow, that finishes it off. That's still a good listing of matches right there. Um, you know, World Class Championship Wrestling would run the Sportatorium, and then for big shows, they would run the Cotton Bowl as well as Cowboys Stadium. Uh, the discs pretty much just like the cover. Um, we flip it over and we'll look at the back real fast. Um, there's the, the announcer, the Sheik, Gino Hernandez. There's a, after winning the NWA World Heavyweight Championship, Kerry Von Erich and Fritz Von Erich. Um, Freebirds versus the Von Erichs. You got Chris Adams and Sunshine going up against Jimmy Garvin and Precious. The Fantastics against the Midnight Express. And I, mean, I don't know, man. It, it's hard to put this over. I understand if you don't want to go back and watch a lot of 80s wrestling. Um, but uh, this is going to be the best 80s wrestling that you can probably find. Um, it'd be fun if you watch this, you know, as the sort of weekly shows rolled out, um, uh, on, on the WWE Network, but if not, just check out this documentary, check out this, these series of matches, the best, the triumph and tragedy of world-class championship wrestling.